Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the R shader. If you create a material and go to the texture, sketch, you will find the R shader. This R shader works with spheres. So in the way you paint a sphere is the way that your objects with these shaders would look like. You can use different applications to create your shader, or even you can create it in real world. The first example, I am going to make it using Photoshop. Inside this Photoshop, I'm going to make a square file, and I'm going to paint a flat circle more than a sphere, just so I can show you how does this R shader works. I'm going to take a mixed brush right here and change it to wet with a radius of 50 and an angle of minus 180. You can use any brush that you want for the example. As I previously said, I'm going to create a flat circle more than a sphere, so it will be easier. For this quick example, I'm only going to use gray and black, because I want to control the colors for this shader using a colorizer inside Cinema 4D. So let's paint this sphere starting with a light gray. The R shader don't need lights. So you need to tell Cinema where are the shadows for your objects using a darker color in different areas of your, your sphere. So then Cinema will take that darker areas and use them as shadows on your objects. As you can see for this example, I'm using a light gray, a dark gray, and a black. Just finish this. And now I will take my ellipse tool to select a part of this image. Let's take the ellipse selection and make a circle from the center of this square file. Like that. Another way that you can use to create a sphere is in Cinema 4D. If you add a sphere to your scene and then using the materials to create a new style, you can then use the sphere as an art shader. You just need to render the sphere and then you can use it inside an art shader, like the one that I'm showing you in the example. You can even use body paint if you want and use the brushes that body paint has to create this sphere that you need for our shader. Now that we have our spheres, we can create a material inside Cinema 4D and use the spheres inside this material. Let's go on our material, turn off specular and color. Inside Luminance, go to the Texture Colorizer. As I previously said, I'm going to use this colorizer to change the color of the spheres that we create.
inside this colorizer go to the texture sketch art let's go inside this art and here is where you need to put the sphere that you create let's load our sphere right here once you load your sphere you may end with something like this you need to fit the side of your sphere to the size of the preview using the scales that this arch shader has let's fit this sphere now as you can see it's the same size let's change the space to camera and add this shader to the object let's hit render as you can see the object has the same style that the spheres that you previously create and it moves the colors when you move the camera it's exactly the same with the same lines with the same imperfection let's go to our colorizer and give some color to this object using this gradient you can change the colors right here and our R shader will change its colors let's hit render and see what we have let's change the color one more time to a blue right there in render okay let's go to our render settings go to the effect sketch and tune and hit render as you can see we now have lines on this object but if you see carefully the shader looks a little bit different and that's because of the sketch and tune you can change this if you go to your sketch and tune in render settings go to the shading tab and in object change from shading to off to have the original shader with the lines of sketch and tune as you can see it has the original color with the lines you can change the lines using the sketch and tune material you can also add ambient occlusion because you have the shading of inside sketch and tune you can use this ambient occlusion for your object and that's basically how the art shader works as i previously said your objects will look exactly as the sphere that you made so make your own spheres and create different styles for your objects i made some art shaders that you can download for free using the link inside the comments of this video here is one example i use one of these chalks to give this style to my object it has two colors as you can see i have another example which is a car using a different shader from one that you can download from the link
and the final example is this head I use this paint if I hit render you can see how does this head looks using this paint different colors for every part and different lines so play with the settings and create your own arc shading